This is the possession that the sons of Israel wielded in the land of Canaan, which, the, which land Eleazar the priest, and Joshua, the son of Nun, and the princes of the minus of the lineages of Israel gave to them. And these parted all things by lot, as the Lord commanded in the hand of Moses, to the nine lineages, and to the half lineage. For Moses had given to the two lineages, and to the half lineage. For Moses had given to the two lineages, and to the half lineage possession over Jordan, without the Levites, that took nothing of the land among their brethren. But the sons of Joseph were parted into two lineages, of Manasseh and of Ephraim, and were heirs into the place of them. And the Levites took none other part in the land, but no cities to dwell in, and the suburbs of those, to their work beasts and their sheep to be fed in. As the Lord commanded to Moses, to the sons of Israel, so the sons of Israel did, and they parted the land. And so the sons of Judah went to Joshua and Gilgal, and Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, of Kenaz, spake to him, Thou knowest what the Lord spake to Moses, the man of God, of me and of thee in Kadesh Barnea. I was of forty years when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kadesh Barnea, that I should behold the land. And I told to him that that, that seemed swift to me, that my brethren that went up with me discomforted the heart of the people. And nevertheless, I pursued my Lord God. And Moses swore in that day and said, The land that thy foot hath trodden shall be thy possession, and of thy sons without end. For thou pursuest thy Lord thy God. Swiftly the Lord granted life to me, as he promised, till into present day, forty years and five be, since the Lord spake this word to Moses, when Israel went through wilderness. Today I am of fourscore years and five, and I am mighty, as I was mighty in that time, when I was sent to a spy. The strength of that time dwelleth stably in me till to this day, as well to fight as to go. Therefore, give thou to me this hill, which the Lord promised to me, while also thou heardest, and which hill be Anakim, and great cities, and strengthen, if in hap the Lord is with me, and I may do them away, as he promised to me. And Joshua blessed Caleb, and he gave to him Hebron into possession. And from that time Hebron was of Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, of Kenaz, unto this present day, for he pursued the Lord God of Israel. The name of Hebron was called before Kiriatharba, Arba the greatest, was set there in the land of Anakim, and the land ceased from battles.